In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you seven things that you should expect um, to happen in 2022. And this is in respect of finances, in respect of business and economy. Okay, so we are going to be looking at a financial projection and economic projection into the year 2022. And this will be very, very important for us because it will actually help us to plan, to prepare and to position ourselves um, to get the best out of 2022 in terms of um, finances and wealth creation. Now, one of the things we should expect more um, in 2022 is inflation. Inflation is going to go on a high, even more than we have seen in 2021. In 2021, inflation actually skyrocketed in Nigeria. Expect more of it in 2022 now certain government policies that are already lined up will actually um, provoke more inflation in the nigerian economy and some of these policies include some um, removal of forest subsidy um, in 2022 forest subsidy is planned to be removed there's a plan to remove forest subsidy in um, 2021 once this is done prices of um, commodities will definitely jack up transportation costs will go up um, cost of food items will go up definitely. Um, other um, policies such as um, um, increasing um, taxation, increasing taxation, there's going to be increased taxation in 2022. There's going to be um, um, electricity tariffs going higher in 2022. And 2022 is actually a pre election year, so there will be a lot of political gimmicks. All these things coupled together will raise the level of inflation in the Nigerian economy. Now, what do you do or what do we do to be able to um, um, stay afloat financially, even amidst of the um, level of inflation we expect to experience? in 2022 one of the things to do is that you will need to cut down on um, non-essentials cut down expenses on non-essentials okay now another thing and um, one we will need to do is to create more value create more value when you create value through products and services then um, it's going to influence the level of cash flow to stay afloat when there's high inflation then there will be need for you to make more currency so you will need more currency to be able to meet up with the um, financial um, demands in 2022. So for that to happen, it is important that you have to work on creating more value, become more useful to other people through um, problem solving products and services that meet the needs of um, people. Now, one other thing that the second thing we, we should expect in 2022 is expect more um, socioeconomic problems in Nigeria. Yeah, in 2021, um, we've seen so many socioeconomic problems. There's corruption, there's um, unemployment, there's um, um, poor educational systems, healthcare, um, infrastructures, generally social amenities. So it's unlikely for us to have less of these socioeconomic problems, including corruption, um, insecurity, now what to do, you will need to see differently. While others are seeing problems, you should see opportunities. Now the truth is that every problem is a wealth creation opportunities. So in problems, don't see problems. In problems, you should see opportunities. So in 2022, there will be need for us to be more opportunity conscious. The problems are still going to be there. But this time around, we are not looking at the problems, we are looking at how to become um, prosperous even in the problems. And how will that happen? It will happen when we become solution providers. So look at ways in which you can be able to step in to solve some of these national problems and definitely you are going to be good for it in terms of your finances. Another thing we should expect in um, 2022 is expect more advancement in fintech in fintech yes in 2021 there was um, remarkable advancements in fintech there was a lot of development in terms of um, um, digital banking in terms of blockchain technology in terms of um, robotics and all that expect more of this to happen in 2022 and what should you do embrace fintech embrace fintech embrace technology and business 
it's not going to um it's not something we are going to shift out it's something that has come to stay so embrace it find ways to incorporate um fintech into your business find ways to incorporate technology into the way you you trade into the way you do business very very important it's important that in 2022 you become more technology savvy become more technology savvy in 2022 so you may need to sign up for trainings that would help you to um, be able to use technology better in business in 2022 very very important that you do um, so now another thing to expect in 2022 is expect more shift more shift um, towards a skill based economy in 2022 expect more shift towards a skill based economy now the, sh the the paradigm shift has already started right from the time of um covid 19 up to now and even beyond um there's need for more skilled um th there's need for more job skills people who are competent people who have um, have value adding um, skills that they can bring to the table and solve problems in the marketplace. Now, there's a shift ongoing from a certification based society to a skill based economy. So, in 2022, one of the things you need to do is to upgrade your skill set. You may need to learn new skills that are relevant in the marketplace. You may need to sign up for um, a, a skill based a skill based training where you can um, learn high demand skills skills that are going to be in high demand that you can monetize so okay another thing to expect in 2022 is that expect more business woes expect more business woes for many so many business will crash unfortunately in 2022 i'm not a prophet of doom but this is something that is bound to happen in 2022 but you just have to find ways <coughs> to ensure that you are not among those or your business is not among those that would um, go down in 2022 now so many um, um policies um that are coming up is actually going to foster or is going to like strangulate many businesses if care is not taken in 2022, one of it is um, multiple taxations that are already in place will increase. We're already having a multiple taxation system in Nigeria and many business are, are, are crying as a result of this. And with government intention to even further increase taxation, it's going to have a ripple effect on um, certain businesses. Fuel subsidy, like I said earlier, is also going to be removed and this will also have a lot of effect on um, certain um, businesses. Apart from that, electricity tariffs is going to go up. So meaning that generally cost of production uh, and as, as an entrepreneur or as someone that is running or doing business in Nigeria, cost of production is going to go high. So we just have to be intelligent enough to be able to run businesses sustainably in 20. 22. So what should you do? Build capacity, get prepared for it, get prepared for um, some of these things that I'm talking about. So um, you may need or you will need to incorporate systems and structures that would help your business run seamlessly and midst of these harsh um, policies and midst of this harsh economic climate um, that we are to expect in 2022 so build capacity increase your financial intelligence level increase your skill set um, upgrade your mindset with respect to managing running business and um, um, service pro um, um, customer service very very important you need to pay more attention to your customers in 2022 um, customer needs customer um, um, demands are likely to change so you must find ways to be able to remain relevant in terms of being able to meet the needs of your um, clients and customers in 2022. Another good thing to expect in 2022 is expect more um, boom in the agricultural industry. So agri-business is going to boom more than ever before 
in 2022. I believe this is good news for many people, especially those that are already in that industry. Now, in 2021, there was a lot of boom in the um, there was a lot of profitability in the agri business industry, and it's going to get better in 2022 many government policies are supportive of local production yeah so there will be more need for food production capacity in nigeria to increase and those that are already um, into farming either crop or livestock they are going to have more and more sales and like i mentioned earlier prices of food items will also skyrocket so profitability in the agri business industry is going to be higher than ever before. So what do you do? Find your way into the agri business